Okay, hi everyone. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, this is going to be the Let's Experience playthrough for Bennett Foddy's uh, Getting Over It or Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Um, this isn't actually my first time recording this. Uh, first, just right off the bat, wanted to say that because I originally recorded this, my very first playthrough of this game, well, not completely, but my very first impression of playing it myself, though I have seen many people play it. And the audio actually got corrupted. So uh, if you know about this game, you know that's actually a pretty fitting um, kind of oh, what the heck? kind of pretty fitting occurrence, you know, for a game that's all about setbacks. I got a setback as well um, trying to record this. And so I'd spent probably like 30 minutes playing this, trying to practice resilience, trying to play it cool. And then just when I thought I was done, I have to come back and do it all over. So uh, here I am. I am a little bit more experienced with this game. It's not my first, you know, kind of uh, play of it. So I will be making some fast progress, but you know what, that might be, well, I mean, I don't want to jinx myself, but it might be more entertaining to watch than uh, my original playthrough. So we'll look at the silver lining of this. Anyways, so as you know, with my playthroughs, the Let's Experience playthroughs, these will actual, actually, uh, they'll be all about the psychology of the game, the media psychology of the game, and how they influence our, our well-being as players, or how we can use them to sharpen our well-being. And so we might think of a game like this as silliness, you know, it's just a, it's just a rage game, right? You know, it's just to get us angry and um, kind of, you know, I don't know, just to get us all riled up and stuff. But actually, for this game, I think it does have a lot to offer us. Uh, and I wanted to bring up some media psychology insights while playing it. Uh, I have turned off the voiceover, even though I really like Bennett Foddy's uh, voiceover. I think it's it's very insightful, very interesting. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of talking right now, so sadly I did turn it off. Um, hopefully that's okay, but I do recommend playing this, hearing it for yourself. He has some very interesting ideas. Anyways, so first, getting started, one idea that I think really sticks out for this game uh, is the concept of flow. So what it is about this game is that it is very difficult and although I look like I'm having a pretty okay time right now, you will see me kind of, actually I am feeling some kind of anxiety here, kind of like a performance anxiety already, even though I've done this before many times because I have fallen many times. Um, the idea of flow, and I'll put up a chart here about um, gameplay, which is all about being able to balance the rising need for challenge in a game without making it too difficult for players so that they don't become anxious or too easy so that they become bored. Something about this game that I think is very unique is the fact that I think it doesn't really pay attention to flow very much. And in his voiceover, he does talk about that, how uh, he couldn't bring himself to make certain levels any easier. You know, he made them difficult, and then the normal uh, way of con of making a game would be to oh, like, oh, this one's a little too difficult, a little too soon in the game. I should change that. I should make it a little bit easier. For him, he said he couldn't. You know, he, he wanted uh, a struggle. He wanted the players to struggle, and because he did make it for players who like struggle. So this game purposefully abandons flow. Okay, so now we're seeing it right now. I have done this before, however, this, this section has always been, ooh, no, no, it has always been difficult. And my, my um, feelings, I'm, I'm going more towards the anxiety uh, side of things. I'm not in that, that sweet zone in the middle uh, where they say, you know, optimal gameplay is where um, you might not be always being challenged. It's kind of like a wave. You kind of, I'll put up like a little graphic, a wave within that, that little uh, Goldilocks zone where sometimes, okay, it's a little bit more challenging, a little bit easier. Wow. Okay. So my challenge for myself while playing this has been not to get angry because it is so easy to get angry. I might not sound or seem like it sometimes, but I do have kind of like a, um, a self-efficacy issue 
not an issue, but with certain things, I'll, I'll start to feel defeated. I'll start to feel like kind of grumpy or I guess insecure is the word. If I'm not like immediately good at a game, I don't know. I just, uh, I am one of those people, I guess you might call it, um, fixed mindset. Uh, and I will talk more about growth versus fixed mindset, especially when it comes to this this kind of game. Right now, so for example, right now I am feeling just a tad little bit frustrated, a tad little bit defeated, um, but that's my fixed mindset kind of talking. The idea that, you know, oh, you know, this is a reflection of who I am and my capabilities. Uh, as a person when what I really want to do and what I really think this game is good for is that it could help us develop a growth mindset. This idea that, okay, I can't, I can't seem to get to that second light right now. I can't do it yet, but I can figure it out. If I keep trying, I can kind of perfect it. I can kind of figure out and practice how to get there and then it just like the beginning of this uh could be a lot easier okay so like grabbing onto this light and then problem solving problem solving without getting frustrated oh there we go see that actually worked now i don't know if i'll get up to the ledge ledge oh oh my goodness see okay that was just an immediate payoff for remaining calm and and trying to uh, keep whoop, doo, 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 trying to keep a growth mindset. So a growth mindset is that I can grow. My failures aren't a result of oh no, that's that's tricky. <laughs> My failures aren't a result. And let's talk a little bit about attribution theory. What you attribute your failures to or mistakes? You know, a failure is a strong word. Um, your mistakes to. There are. Some research agrees on perhaps three. There we go. Great. Ooh, yay. Okay. There are three possible ways to attribute failure, um, according to some research um, that I found very intriguing. Uh, one is the person attribution, to attribute it to yourself as a person. I didn't do that or I can't do this because I suck at this game or at these types of games and I'm not going to get any better. That's just not who I am as a person. That's a very fixed mindset. I am what I am and I can't grow or change. And it, it, it does, it makes us feel better in like a, a, a little bit, but in the end it's also very limiting where we don't feel like we can, oh yay, okay, where we can... Um, you know, grow. We can't like expand or gain new talents with that kind of thinking. And while that might sound like a familiar thought for some of us, don't worry, you know, if you feel like, oh, maybe that means I have a growth mind, I mean, a fixed mindset, don't worry. It's, um, we're not all just one way or another. It's, it really depends on the situation, your previous experiences, and you can always, always develop a growth mindset. So I'm all over the place with my research. Back to attribution theory. Um, first is the person, and I'm I'm avoiding that right now. I am I'm doing some metacognition. I'm thinking about my thoughts. I'm trying to keep myself in check. This is my failures are not because I suck at this game or that I'll never be good at this game. I mean, honestly, look how well I'm doing. I did not do this well my first playthrough. This is growth. This is me gaining skills. You know, that is evidence right there. Um, so it's not me as a person. So the second is entity theory. That, in terms of gameplay, would be there is something wrong with the entity. Whoop! <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but okay, I'll take it. Um, there is something wrong with the entity of this game. Like, oh, the, the controls are wonky, or oh, it made me do that, it made me do that, you know, where you, you blame the game. While sometimes, maybe, uh, it... Oh! There we go. There we go. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so that hits ya. That hit me, but you know what? Metacognition, I'm thinking through my thoughts, processing, processing any frustration. This is not a reflection of me as a person. Uh, it's not because of the game. This is the final attribution, circumstantial. 
circumstantial attribution of my failure means I understand that <clears throat> it's not like, it's not a marker. Ooh, <coughs> I got something caught in my throat. It's not a marker of my, of my quality of being that I did that right now and then I had that failure. It's just circumstantial. You know, I misjudged um, a little bit. I misjudged a distance, um, trajectory. Uh, you know, I, I just hit things at the wrong moment, at the wrong angle, and that is fine because I can learn how not to make those mistakes. You know, it's not a fatal flaw. It's fine. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Again, circumstantial. See, I missed, I misjudged, uh, the direction of my, of the hammer and the power of, uh, I guess my, my, uh, my swing. Ah, no! And here we are! <laughs> We're back at the beginning, wow! We're gonna be okay. Growth mindset, growth mindset. This is my challenge to myself. Don't get angry, you know, it's not worth it. Instead, with a growth mindset, you'll find yourself looking for new challenges, seeking new challenges, feeling better when you overcome things. As of right now, I'm actually still enjoying this game. I still feel challenged in a positive way. And research does show that people with, um, well, not people with a growth mindset. That's kind of a fixed way of talking about it. Oh, I need to, I need to figure out how to do that roof again. Um, people uh, who exhibit a growth mindset with tasks, uh, with certain tasks like playing a game, uh, enjoy themselves more. They and they enjoy the gameplay more. They actually perform better. They they actually keep trying longer. They don't get they don't get um, discouraged. They don't stop trying. They don't give up. They keep going until they learn and until they conquer it, which in turn uh, helps develop self-efficacy, which is the feeling that it's the trust. It's the trust that you can do it. You know, if you just try hard enough, if you study hard enough, oh, you betrayed me, coffee cup. No, I always liked that coffee cup. I thought it was a cute little touch, but it betrayed me. Um, with practice, I can get better. That kind of self-efficacy that, that, um, it's pretty much, it's what you might call confidence. It's like, you know what, I might not be amazing right now, but I, oh, no, I missed it. No, I missed it. No. So, this is always something I noticed in my, um, you know, when I would watch other players play this, is that after, like, a big defeat, you know, kind of, there's this, there's a little bit of franticness. You kind of lose a bit of your, your focus. And that's fine, you know, I'll get it back. Um, and that's fine too. Anyways, so this is all about, I think how this game could help us is by uh, developing a growth, ah, a growth mindset. It's really good practice actually. And I told you er earlier, I actually have like a self-efficacy thing. I, I do suffer from a fixed mindset here and there, you know, just, um, with certain things, sometimes games, yeah, I do feel like, oh, you know, I catch myself sometimes thinking like, oh, I'm just not good at first person shooters, or I'm just not good at platformers. Oh, I say that a lot, actually. Um, when it just really is, I haven't had the practice, I haven't put enough energy into it. And if I really wanted to, I could get better. Uh, which isn't to say that, you know, talent doesn't exist. I mean, it does. Ooh. Yeah, I think I am maybe a little bit too frantic right now. I somehow can't get past this even though I've done it so many times. I think we've we've all had that experience where it's like, wait, you know, I, I've done this before. Why is this so difficult now? Whoop. So what I think I will do is I'm going to go ahead and do a little time skip. I'm going to get myself a little further, just keep it kind of entertaining, you know, so that there's something new going on in the background. And I will see you guys then. 
Alrighty, hi everyone. So I actually didn't make much progress, uh, not in the end, because although I did make it back up to the top where I was before, uh, and I did record, actually, I've been trying to record this like, um, I think three separate times, but each time my recording, something goes out, something's wrong with my setup, I think. Uh, but needless to say, my resilience has been tested today. <laughs> um, but this has still been a fun experience. Um, I have gotten really far, uh, and I wish I could show you guys. Uh, it's actually been really interesting to see how my skills have grown. Actually, I mean, just looking at myself play right now, this is, I'm, I'm kind of getting back in it, I'm getting back, back on it. I have been having a good time, and I really think that that's thanks to my growth mindset. Even with all the setbacks, both in the game and in my recordings, uh, this game has taught me <laughs> how to have, uh, at least a little bit, I've been getting practice, um, how to have a growth mindset with these kinds of tasks. And just know that every setback, every failure is a learning opportunity and that I can grow beyond it. And what I did want to say just in closing was that research has found that when you practice a growth mindset, when you experience a growth mindset, you not only enjoy yourself more, like enjoying gameplay more, you actually experience a boost of well-being. And I do feel that now, although yes, I, I am pretty tired because I've been doing this a while. Uh, that's just normal. That comes with the territory. That's work strain. Uh, and I just need some recovery. I'll probably go watch something or play something hedonic after this, something that's light and it's all about being in the moment. Um, but uh, I do think that I have gained a lot. I mean, just out of a little time with this game, relatively speaking, I do feel that uh, I have been, see, look at this. I'm already like getting so much better and it feels awesome. I'm getting all this mastery uh, and competence kind of buzz. Whoop. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, this has been a great experience and I really feel like I've kind of cracked a code here and how not to rage at this game, which is basically to just understand that failure is a natural part of learning and that's what matters. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's been an interesting and educational experience trying to let's play this game because of all the technical issues that have been coming up and all the setbacks within the game. It's been like a crash course in have a growth mindset, have a growth mindset. Um, anyways, thank you so much for joining me. And I hope to actually upload the end of this uh, game. I'm hoping that, you know, after out after hours of, of, of learning, no. there we go. And that's fine too. I will be a-okay. I already know how to get up there, but I'll stop trying to talk and do all this at the same time. Anyways, thank you so much. I am going to be posting the end of this game sometime in the near future. Oh no, I guess I'm just addicted to playing this right now. <laughs> no, I'll stop. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any ideas about other games or videos to play, um, uh, that's actually opposite, any videos or games to play, please let me know. I'd love any kind of feedback. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this and that maybe it might have shed, shed some light on growth mindset and how it could uh, influence not only how we play games, how we see games, but how it's also a translatable skill into real life. Um, anyways, thank you again. Have a great day and as always, happy playing!